message reading. So this is a general reading. Please just take what messages resonate, leave what doesn't. Um, it's a weird week this week because obviously we had the full moon on Monday and then we have the Lionsgate portal on Saturday, tomorrow. So energetically, there's been like a lot going on. I know personally, like, I've just felt so exhausted. I've just been completely drained, which is why I haven't been recording. So I just honestly just didn't have the energy to do it. Um, but I do feel better today. So I was like, right, let's get back on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the tarot. We're going to use a couple of other decks, see what I'm drawn to, and just see what messages come through. I do kind of want to focus on the Lionsgate portal and just see what kind of shift that is bringing for us. So let us begin. We're going to start with the Witch's Tarot. And just see, you know, basically where are we at currently. Okay, we have the High Priest. So currently, I really do feel like we are all starting to connect more with our higher selves. We're starting to connect more with spirit. Uh, we are also experiencing, like, a commitment here. So this is about us committing to ourselves, committing to our spiritual growth. So it feels like the Lionsgate portal is really showing us, you know, what it is we actually need to commit to in our lives to create the change we are after. So... Some of us might feel like we are being pushed to like a leadership role, pushed into being more of a spiritual guide. Maybe more people are coming to you for advice at the moment and you do feel like a lot of people are kind of like expecting things from you. So do ensure that you are protecting your energy because with this Queen of Cups on the bottom, you are a very nurturing person. You give a lot to other people and it's really important that you establish some boundaries so that when people come to you, um, you actually do have the energy to help and you can only have energy to help if you make sure that you are giving to yourself first of all. I am showing someone's body coming out of, um, sorry, someone's like soul coming out of their physical self and moving higher. So I really do feel like you're going through a bit of an upgrade right now. This Lionsgate portal is kind of like bringing you out of yourself to give you a different perspective. Yeah, we have the full here, which just flipped. So with two major arcanas, obviously there's some big, big changes taking place. Now with the full and the high priest, I do feel like this is taking a leap of faith um, towards something new in terms of like your spiritual growth and practice. So exploring something new here, maybe some kind of new learning. Um, maybe some of you are kind of going back to school as well, or education, like looking at some kind of further study here. We are going to look into love as well, don't worry guys. And we have the magician, so we do have three majors. So yeah, there's huge, huge changes taking place. Now the magician is promising that if you come into alignment with what you are trying to manifest, then you will see this materialise in the 3D. As I said, we were going to look into love. We do have the knife cups on the bottom. So yeah, we are going to go into love in a second. But first of all, for you, for this Lionsgate portal, it's really important that you are using this energy for kind of like your highest good. So making sure that you are setting some intentions for what you want to use this portal for. Um, you know, think about what you want to manifest. Think of some affirmations you want to use for like the next couple of days or weeks. And get yourself into alignment. Those of you who are trying to attract something, well, you are asked to embody that energy. You know, you attract what you are, not what you desire. So you have to be in alignment with, you know, whatever wishes you want fulfilled here. So I'm seeing lots of fresh starts here. This feels really, really positive. We are going to look into love now and see kind of how this Lionsgate portal is helping um, soul connections. First card flips, you cannot make this up, we have the Ace of Cups. So there is like um, a fresh perspective is what I'm getting here. I am showing someone walking away from an argument or conflict um, and bringing about a peace offering. So there might be an apology coming your way if you have been in conflict with someone here. So it could be that someone is asking for forgiveness um, or maybe you will just be forgiving them. But basically there's like um, a fresh start here, some fresh energy being brought in with this Lionsgate portal. Let us find out a little bit more about this. Oh my god, guys, we have the Ace of Swords. So with two Aces here, the Lionsgate portal is clearly bringing about some new beginnings in relationships in love. So I do feel like this is about clear communication, talking about your feelings. Um, I do feel like someone here is going to be giving you some kind of offer. Someone here is like, wait, or has... Yeah, it really feels past tense. Someone here has been waiting for the right opportunity to come to you. And I actually think that it's coming quite soon. I'm seeing like these walls being lifted. Um, and I'm told like the barricades are coming down. So this person, 
whatever blocks they have been facing in this connection, they are about to see that situation transform and they are about to try and find a way to approach you. So basically, I do feel like there's going to be a conversation around feelings. There's going to be a lot more like deeper emotion being felt as well. So if you feel a little bit emotional at the moment, that's okay. Um, it's just like everything that's going on cosmically is bringing about these feelings to the surface. And we have the Eight of Cups. Okay, so a situation here or like a connection is undergoing some kind of transformation. The Eight of Cups is the Eight of Cups is about evolution. And with the King of Pentacles on the bottom, I really do feel like someone here walked away from a situation and they have been busy evolving. They've been busy focusing on their spiritual growth so that they can be this like stable, secure person for you. This person was like very childish in the past, especially around conflict. Like this person kind of avoided arguments or you two would fight and then they would run away. But basically, yeah, this person was not very mature when it came to having those difficult conversations. So I do feel like they've been busy evolving and now they are ready to bring about some kind of fresh start. August seems to be a month for them to continue to focus on their spiritual growth. But we do have the Knight of Swords. So this person is rushing back in. So this person might have been quite in and out of your life or maybe they just move very impulsively. So take it as it resonates. Either this person's been busy in and out of your life for like a while now um, or this person is coming in quick after a long time, like eight months of separation. So maybe there's been about eight or nine months here of separation. Um, doesn't have to be that kind of time frame, but that's just what I'm getting. And then this person is preparing to come in quick. It could be a younger air sign with the Knight of Swords here, but does not have to be. Um, so yeah, this person is preparing to come in. They are wanting to show you their growth. They're wanting to give you something, wanting to show you how much they have changed. Yeah, like these cards flew out. I'm not going to take them, but we do have the judgment here. So this person wants you to know that they have faced their wake up call. They um they have been busy evolving and they've been struggling as well like this person has not been finding this journey easy so i do see that they want to try and find a way to return to you but right now they're carrying a lot of extra burdens and responsibilities now for some of you i am told with these two aces there's going to be two different opportunities but that will not be for everyone so please only take that if it resonates um, but you might find that you are torn between two people here yeah maybe you're going to be in your head about what it is you want because with this ten of cups there's going to be an opportunity here for fulfillment um and it feels like you're just a little bit a little bit stuck around this there could be a decision to make um the high priestess is you you know the high priestess is you in your power in your alignment really having balanced your shadow and your light so congratulations and um, the work you've been doing on yourself really has paid off now i do see that this conversation is going to take place when you don't expect it i am showing that you're just busy getting about your day to day and then you get a text message so when this person contacts you um i do feel like it's it's just going to come out of the blue now this person struggles to talk about their feelings they actually struggle to even acknowledge their feelings like this person likes to close their heart chakra they don't like to acknowledge whatever goes on in there they don't like to talk about how they feel um, but they are going to because ultimately this person knows that if they don't start speaking about their feelings here, then they are going to lose you because it. They do feel like you very well may walk away in order to pursue like a soulmate connection in order to pursue something, um, just with someone else. And with this ten of cups, their biggest fear is that you actually move away and settle down with someone else. They worry that you are going to kind of get married, have a family, um you know, just with another person. So this is definitely pushing them. And it's actually their fears which pull them back in. It's this person worrying about you walking away from them and settling down with another, which gets them to, to come back in. So for those of you who are kind of seeing someone else, I would, you know, say, expect this person to rush back in as you get yeah, 10 of pentacles, as you start to plan some kind of long term with this other person but it doesn't have to be for everyone like i said this is a general reading so i get kind of lots of messages delivered so you know just use your intuition to take which ones are for you 
Either way, this person is definitely fearful that you are going to move away from them. And with the sun, this person wants to come in. They want to have fun with you. So I actually feel really good things coming as a result of this um, Lionscape portal. I actually think it is helping you who is watching this video to really find your alignment and power to kind of um, explore some new opportunities. There's going to be some like fresh starts coming to you. And I just feel like the more you focus on grounding yourself and balancing your dark and your light, the, the more this, this person here is being pulled towards you. Yeah, we have a page of pentacles. So it's been a while, guys. It's been a while since you two spoke. Or it's been a while since you two had an honest conversation about things. Um, I feel like this person's been busy focusing on their growth for quite some time here. They have been stuck, I'm not going to lie. Like this person has been going through like a changing perspective. They have been going through a spiritual awakening. But it's not been pretty, guys. Like, this person really has hit rock bottom. Um, I feel like you have as well. But this person, I don't know, it's been a lot harder for them lately. You might also be picking up on this energy as well. We have the chariots. I love this. Like, things are starting to move forwards now. So even if this person walks away from you, I actually see that you are staying on your track. You are continuing to move forwards. There might have been a tower moment here, so it very well could be that, yeah, like, you, I don't know, had this foundation just kind of crumble in your life and you've been busy rebuilding yourself. Now, the main thing with this tower, the main message I'm getting is that this person's going to come in quite quickly, and when they come in, it actually is going to be quite sudden, unexpected. Like, with this tower, I actually think this person's arrival or return or conversation it might actually um create some quite a significant change in your life like maybe if you have been building with someone else this person's going to come in and disrupt that or maybe um yeah this person's just going to come in with some really like sudden and unexpected news um but it doesn't feel bad it just feels like it's going to be a bit of a shock when this happens yeah, we have the world here, so it's not going to be bad. It's actually going to get this cycle to complete, but it's just going to be, like, um, unanticipated by you. Well, yeah, because we have the Seven of Cups here, so you're guided to really get out of your head, but I do feel like that is going to be a decision for you to make. Like, you have... Yeah, you have options about which direction you are to move in or about who you're about to let in your boat and move forwards with you. So some of you will have a choice to make and that's okay. Just remember, you cannot make a choice until this person's actually showing up. So please don't overthink this. Um, you know, until this person is here, there is no need for you to worry. Now, for some of you, this choice will literally be whether or not you trust this person when they return because I do feel that they left for a third party situation or they left here because of some kind of like ego based behavior. This person wanted like recognition, they want like their ego kind of wanted that recognition and, and acknowledgement, so they maybe went elsewhere for that. But just wait and see how this unfolds. Let me know in the comments if this is already happening for you guys, um, or let me know when it does. One more we have the empress yes to stay in your power guys so do you know what this person's gonna realize that you are in your empress energy that you are um in this place of like power and that is what is going to pull them back in like this person is so attracted to you they feel like you are abundant you are successful and this person is being drawn to your energy again i feel like they've recently seen your glow up so i don't know if they've seen this on social media or something but they have seen your transformation and this person wants to come back this person wants to come back in playfulness and religious factors so you're guided to just have fun right now enjoy yourself especially if your person has been quite withdrawn there's been a lot going on this year and i do feel like the divine masculine energy in particular has been very focused on you know their spiritual growth and evolution like this has been a very challenging you know year for them so far 
Now you are guided to fully connect with your inner child, so use this time to connect with yourself, to have fun, and um, to bring that kind of like playfulness back into your life. And with this religious factors card, I am getting that this person you are connected to really had to focus on their spiritual path. They might have had like a challenging upbringing as well, which has really affected them. I feel like both do have some inner child wounds which have impacted um, the way you love or your ability to love another person, to love yourselves. So you've been busy focusing on changing this, focusing on healing from your childhood and also focusing on your spiritual journeys um, individually. So if there has been a disconnect in this connection, because um, I do feel like this person has withdrawn, it is simply because they needed this time in order to heal. They needed this time in order to find themselves. Um, but I do see good, like really positive change coming in this connection quite soon. There's definitely the energy of new beginnings here, like this person wants to have a fresh start with you. So let's just see um, what you can expect to see with this Lionscape portal. Knight of Cups. So yeah, I really do feel like you can expect to see some kind of offer with this Lionsgate portal. So there is going to be someone who makes an appearance. Now this person is currently behind a curtain, so I, I'm not showing who this person is. But either way, I do feel like you are attracting some kind of romantic offer. Um, yeah, Ten of Pentacles. So this Lionsgate portal is going to bring about a romantic offer which will give you the opportunity to build long term. So this is someone who is coming out of the blue who actually like you could have a really positive future with. Now is this this person from the past? I am not sure. Um, but I do know that that person from the past is not letting you go. So let me know who it is that is coming because like I said because they're behind a curtain I cannot see who this person is. I know that there is someone from the past who wants to come in, but I actually feel for some of you, it will be when this other romantic offer comes that this person is triggered into movement. With this two of cups, basically you will be entering a commitment quite soon. I actually feel like um, someone here wants to ask you into like a deeper commitment. Like this person here with this ten of pentacles, they do see themselves having a future with you. And they want to make sure that the two of you are on the same page here, that both of you are really giving to each other equally. We have the Ace of Swords again, so the Ace of Swords is now out twice. I do feel a conversation around commitment is coming quite soon, guys. Um, I want to say within the next kind of like four weeks or so, I do feel that many of you will be having a conversation around which direction something is moving in. Now, with this Page of Cups, I don't know if you're going to accept this offer because... Some of you are still healing your inner child wounds or some of you are maybe still waiting for a reconciliation with someone from the past. So maybe if this isn't the person you want to be with, then you might very well turn that down. But I don't want to give too many options here because it is a general reading and I do feel that some of you are going to accept this offer and some of you won't. Um, so basically, yeah, let me know, you know what you choose to do here. With this temperance card, you're guided to really make a balanced decision. Um, focus on yourselves, focus on finding that balance within you. Some of you are going to want to tip, tip, dip your toe in the water. I can't speak today. So some of you are going to want to maybe explore something new, try something new. So if this is like a new person on the scene, maybe you want to kind of give it a go. Um, and that is okay. Enjoy it. Many. I'm just going to get one final card. This page of cups as well, I do feel like someone is going to talk to you about how they feel. Or at least what kind of blocks them from being in a relationship. Or they're just going to talk about some kind of emotional experience. We have the king of cups. So, the final card is that someone here, we've got the tower again. Someone here is going to be offering you their love. Someone here has a lot of feelings for you. Um, they are going to start to express them. And I do feel like a tower moment is coming, guys. But I don't think this is anything to fear. I actually think this is like an incredibly positive thing. Yeah, the clarifier for the tower is the star. So basically, um, whatever needs to be released is going to be released. And this allows for you to rebuild a foundation. It creates the opportunity for the change which you have been seeking. Um, so like, I'm just getting good fortune. I feel like this tower is making room for some good luck in your life. Okay guys, I'm going to end that reading there, send you all so much love and light.